This is lesson three in the lockdown second geographic communication. Last week we introduced two point perspective sketching and in that sketching we were looking at drawing a series of two point perspective cubes, something like this, where we had the vanishing points at the side. We started with the leading line of the cube, so we started with the vertical line and then we took the top and the bottom of that line to the vanishing point, same to the other vanishing point and then we used a ruler to create the depth using a vertical line, the depth using a vertical line, and then we completed the top. So this was all revision from last week, and I was looking forward to doing the developments of maybe eight cubes, and then add a little bit of colour to them like this, to try and make it a bit more presentable, and then you took a photograph of it and sent me it back. Okay, so today's lesson, we're going to still be working on two-point perspective, but we're going to take it a little stage further and today we're going to actually have a go at trying to draw a house in two point perspective. So the same as last week, I'm going to start by creating my two vanishing points. So approximately halfway up the page, okay, you don't have to measure this, but approximately halfway up the page, at either side, on the outside, I'm going to draw two little crosses like this. And I would like you then just to write VP next to these for vanishing point. Okay, so in this one, we're going to start with quite a long vertical line. It's going to go above, if you think of the line which goes between the two of them, and it's going to go below it. So I'm going to go for a line which starts up here, and it vertically comes all the way down to the bottom here. Now that's going to be the leading edge of my house. Now I've drawn it quite dark, you'll maybe try and keep this light. Now of this bit, I'm going to divide this up into thirds, okay? So I'm going to take the length of that and I'm going to approximately divide it up into thirds, like so. So this bit here at the top is going to be the roof of my house and then this is the, the, the main part of my house. So I'm going to turn this now into two-point perspective the line from the bottom and the line from the top. So I've got three lines going back to the vanishing point and I'll take the same three points back to the other vanishing point. Okay, so what we're now going to do is to decide upon the sizes. So I'm going to have my side of my roof, the uh, side of the house is going to have the slope on the roof to this side here. So this is going to be maybe about that size there. So I'm just again a vertical line between the two of them, like that. And then on the other side, which is going to be the length of the house, I'm going to make that much longer. And I'm going to come down to around about here. So what it actually looks like at the moment is I've got one box at the bottom and another box on top of it. But I'm going to turn the box at the top into a roof. So the roof will have a point to it, an apex to it. So on this side here, in this line, I'm just going to approximately guess where the middle is, which is approximately there. And I'm going to join from there to these two points here. And what that starts to give me is what the end of the house looks like. Okay, so once I've got the end of the house, I've got to have that slope of the roof going back. So it's two point perspective, it goes back to the vanishing point. So I'm going to take that line, going all the way back to the vanishing point there, and it starts to look like the slope of the roof. Now it doesn't finish here. It actually finishes at the same point as the slope of that roof. So I'm going to take a line from here to the vanishing point. And where that goes through that point there, that's where my roof ends, and I'll just join that back to here. So I've now got my roof and the main body of the house drawn in two point perspective. Now, what we're going to look to do is try and put some detail onto this, thinking about things you'd normally find on a house. So on the front of the house we would have windows, we're going to have a door, 
I'm going to make this a two story house, so I'm going to have windows to the top, I'm going to have windows to the bottom and the door at the bottom. On the side here, I'm maybe going to have windows as well on the side of the house, uh, maybe up and down windows. And maybe as an extension for anybody who wants to try it, I'll maybe show you how you could maybe put a little garage on the side of it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just drawing lines from this leading edge. So I'm going to take a line approximately here, going all the way back to the vanishing point. So that's the top of the top windows. And I'm then going to do another line there. That's the bottom of the top row of windows. And then I'll do the same here. I'll take the top of the bottom row of windows and something down here like that. So I've now got some lines to follow with my windows. Now I'm going to have the windows lining up. So I'm going to use my vertical line. I'm going to come in and between the two, I'm going to say there's the start of my windows. And I'm just going to say, right, the first one is quite a long window, so I'm just going to take another line like so. And there's my first set of windows that I've added onto it. So I'll just darken them in so you can see them a little bit uh, clearer. So there's my first set of windows. So I'm going to have a door in the middle of my house. So I'm going to come along a little bit from the first set of windows and I'm going to draw a vertical line small gap and another line and I will add a line there so there's me got my door I'm maybe going to add in another window just on the other side something like that so now I've got my two windows on the bottom and a door up at the top I'm maybe going to actually have this as a couple of separate um, windows, it's really up to yourself, if this is part of your own uh, design, you can design how many windows you want, where the windows go, what sizes the windows are, that's going to be part of your design. So up the top I've made three windows, down at the bottom I've made two windows and a door. Now if I wanted the same size of windows on the side, where my construction line hits my leading edge, I then take that back to the vanishing point. And that will give me the same height travelling along the side. And if I wanted to, I could then put another window in there. Something like that. So, and basically, that is the basic design that I'm looking for you to come up with for your house. I'm looking for it to have uh, the main body of the house. I'm looking for it to have a roof. I'm looking for it to have some windows and doors. At this point, it is up to you to start to think about maybe decoration. So, for example, you might start to think, well, my windows tend to more have a, a window frame to them. So you can maybe start to take other lines which come, are coming just inside the first one. Again, think about the fact that they're still going to go back to the vanishing point. And we could put some vertical lines just inside the ones that we've just drawn. To sort of start to give ourselves a frame for the windows, which starts to make it make make it look more realistic than just if it was a rectangle, just like a picture on the wall. So we can do the same at the bottom set. Again, notice how I'm going back to the vanishing point each time. So the lines are sloping to the vanishing point, and then draw my vertical lines just inside. And there's my other set of windows. So it starts to look a bit more realistic. Now you could take this further and you can add colour to it. You might design to put curtains on there or you might put um, blinds onto these or shutters. You can decide to do that as part of your design. You might even take the door and you might decide that your door is going to have some windows in it as well instead of just being a plain door. So you might have a series of windows. But again, try and work with the basic principles that everything goes back to the vanishing points. Always have your lines going to the vanishing points. So in this case, I'm going to do two little rectangular windows on my door like that, and I could maybe continue them down. Okay, so that's the basics. 
I could let you get on with that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and look, look at adding something else to mine. I'm going to add like a garage on at the side here, which is really just another uh, block added on at the side. Now I'm going to sort of take a point which is about halfway up my house, and I'm just going to draw a line back to the bathroom point. So that is going to be the height of where my garage comes up to. I'm going to decide how deep the garage is. Now I want it set back a little bit from the house, so I'm going to take a point here and here. So these two points here, I'm going to take lines from the vanishing point and I'm going to project through them. So put my pencil on the vanishing point, put it on that line and then just take the line forward. Do the same for the other one. And what that starts to do is it gives me the floor, the footprint of where my garage is going to go. Decide upon how far out my garage is going to stick, go back to the vanishing point. So there is my garage as if it was a footprint on the ground. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it some height. So from here, I'm going to go straight up to the height that I decided upon. And then from my vanishing point, project out through that height. Now, I get that this bit might be a little bit more complicated than some people are wanting to do. So if you are finding this a bit more challenging, don't bother putting the garage onto your, onto your house. But I'm just doing this. That if anybody wants to do a little bit of extra, add something bit more challenging to their to their house and there we could have a little garage on at the side. Now at the moment it's not got a garage door or anything so again from the vanishing point I'm just going to choose a line, take that down the side and then I'll add some just some vertical lines so that it looks almost like a roller shutter garage door. So I'll just put a series of lines just equi spaced going down front of the garage door like that. Just keep going down. And we'll add one or two more in. And there we go. There's my finished house with my garage. Now at that point I'd like you to start to get a bit creative and start to think about maybe uh, adding some colour to this. So what colour are the frames of your windows going to be? Are they going to be white or are you going to put them brown like you get in some houses or, or grey in some modern houses? Are you going to do um, tiles on the roof? So if you're going to add tiles to the roof you could possibly do a series of lines coming back to the vanishing point again as little rows that would look like all the tiles. So again, you could actually start to add that as a feature into it. And then what you could also do is you could start to add brickwork to the main body of it. And you can start to add colour to your brickwork. That's going to be an extension as part of your, your, um, your exercise for today. So, in summary, what I'm looking for you to do today is have a go at doing a basic house in two-point perspective with windows, with door, and if you want to take it a little bit further, you can add other bits onto it, like maybe a garage. You can start to add tiles to the roof. You can start to add brickwork. You could even take it further and start to add things like paths coming out from the front of the house. And you can really start to um, make this look as, as an impressive two-point perspective house. Okay, enjoy. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of your efforts when you um, email them to me or you add them to your assignment.